We are on location in Potomac, Maryland, getting ready to film something for the Bethesda Area Filmmakers. This is a script that I wrote for the asexual community. I'm so excited to see it produced. I can't wait to see what the team here does with it. This is our inaugural script. How do you feel? Awesome. It's yeah. exciting. <laughs> this is our inaugural film for the Bethesda Area Filmmakers and we are behind the scenes with who are we talking to? I'm Mariana. I'm Shauna. I'm Kevin. And what are we filming today, guys? Erased. Uh, Erased. <laughs> on women's studies and we talked about um, <coughs> a lot of different sexualities in the context and how it affects uh, society roles for females and for males and that's really cool yeah, yeah. I heard yeah. of it on the news you heard about how like that was a, like a story they did like a, sh um, a short segment on it they were talking about how but they were talking about in terms of younger people they were saying right. how because of all the electronics and lack of um, interaction like that normal kids used to have and so much is so so much of it is not involved because um, so much so many kids are now interacting virtually instead of physically that they're wondering if there's some type of um, effect that has on it and they suspect that one of them could potentially be asexuality because whatever so just situational asexuality and what they were saying is that they potentially think that it may have some kind of an effect on some type of a gland or something that helps people evolve and, and develop this interest, but that's the first time I've heard about it. How about you? Have you heard of it? No. No? No. But I'm going to go study. Google it. Yeah. You Google it. It's just, you know, asexual does not experience sexual attraction. It's that simple. It's like, do you like boys? Do you like girls? No. It's that simple. <laughs> I actually did hear about it a while ago. I heard about it around the same time that I heard a little later, actually, probably about a year or so later, then um, some of my friends started coming out as a lesbian or gay. Um, a lot of them came out as bisexual, actually. A lot of people thought I was bi. I don't know why I think all these people look the same, but... <laughs> um, yeah, so asexuality was always a thing I kind of knew about, except it's, it's kind of, it's kind of funny because like, you know, in asexual organisms, they bud, that's how they reproduce, or like they, they do other things, so I have this like funny image in my mind of like people doing that, and it's thoroughly not true, but it's just hilarious. Yeah. Uh, one of the reasons I like doing asexuality stuff in film is because it does feel very isolating when you're, when you feel anything that makes you feel apart or different. And when you do it in a group like this, like there's all these people on screen and all of them now know about asexuality. There's all those people behind the screen, they all know about asexuality now. And then when I share that with other asexuals, they look at it and they see, look, all these people out there know we exist. And so it really helps them as well. Just